Oi, oi. Hello, welcome to a new episode. So, uh, I haven't done an intro to the video you're about to watch, so, because, because I just I didn't, didn't do one, so we're doing a quick intro now, uh, so then I can start the bloody video. So basically, the video you're about to watch now is a location that's already been done by Johnny Smith. Uh, I'm not too sure it's been done by many other people. It's already been done by you know one of the fame, the most famous people in the car world of the UK, in my opinion. Anyway, apart from the the you know Jeremy Clarkson's of people, uh, Johnny Smith is a, a legend. So if you're watching this, Johnny, link up, brother, because I want to do a video with you. <laughs> so basically, we go to a location that is, in my opinion, heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. And when I say heartbreaking, I mean genuinely heartbreaking. Need a crash then, folks. Fuck me, we need a crash. What? If I didn't look up there, there would have been a fucking pile up. I kid you not, ladies and gents. There would have been a proper pile up. And everybody's waking, waiting behind the car that's, that's stopped. I swear. Nearly had smash up footage. <laughs> right, let's pull over here. I got, got all dizzy. Right, so we're pulling over here. So, so basically, what you're going to watch now is, like I said, it's going to be heartbreak. It's not very nice. It's not very nice, but uh, you'll see anyway. But the reason why I wanted to do a better intro, I wanted to explain a bit more about what happened yesterday, Saturday's video. The the story on that location that I was told, a Singapore race driver. He said he doesn't know who was famous. You seen the video anyway, so you sort of like you know you you heard it yourself. An, an ex Singapore or you know an old Singapore race car driver that apparently just disappeared or whatever. You know, left the house, flew over to back over to fucking Singapore. I don't know, basically you weren't there. Now unbeknownst to me and this lad, uh, Jay, that was there with me. So the story changed when the police turned up. So basically we were, we were doing our thing in there. The police came, they came through the back gate hard. They, they basically, they wanted to make an arrest. <laughs> So the geezer came, the one geezer came out shouting, don't move, I've got a taser. And I, me being me, me being Stokes, I shouted to the copper, well tase me then mate, because at least it made my day more entertaining because it's been sh and that put a smile on the copper's face and then we started chatting from there. They obviously detained us for attempted burglary, well not attempted burglary, suspicion of burglary. Now this is what I'm trying to explain. So the adjacent houses, the houses that are situated either side of this premises and there's a, there's a house obviously opposite these premises. They clearly know what goes on in the area. They clearly know the house is abandoned. They clearly know it, it draws a lot of unwanted attention. You can understand that there's cause for concern. Now this was a, this is quite an upper class estate in London. So I understand if, I understand that the police would have been called because you know I mean I'm mooching around the garden and whatever 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 they don't know me from Adam so that's just basically how it is so I, I get that but this is the weird bit after talking to the coppers the one copper came over to me and asked me to delete the footage right there and then and I said no I'm not deleting the footage he said well you need to delete the footage because you, you, you've been on private property filming people's stuff without their permission you're causing uh, a lot of worry and concern now I understand that now I may have some bad comments from people that's watching my content to be honest I know who I am and the ones that watch my content and like who I am and know who I am know that I'm a genuine person so the the Singapore story kind of fell flat the the owner lives next door which I don't believe that for a second the owner does not live next door he's just uh, a nosy neighbor old Kevin the curtain twitcher he basically doesn't want people there so he's called the old bill the old bills come he just obviously wanted us away from there now the other the weird thing is the one copper came over to the copper that was detaining me read something in his notebook and then uh, walked away now I kind of clocked the, the copper reading his notebook and I heard him on I heard Someone on the radio saying the the owner wants to implicate me that's what he said he wants to implicate me for being in there without lawful reason now i understand that i understand the law i know whether you know you could be in a place unlawfully or lawfully but what i was doing was in my opinion lawfully plus i recorded it so therefore i've got evidence that i didn't do nothing apart from being on private land which is trespass which again is a civil offence the plot gets weirder my mate jay messaged me after all this event that happened saying that apparently the reason why the house is trashed and it's left like nobody cares for the place anymore is because the person that actually lived there is a i wouldn't say convicted because i don't know but it's said to be a p now again, I don't know. This is just speculation. This is just speculative information that I've gathered from people talking to me. A lot of basically Jay talked to me. So I don't know. I don't know the story. I don't know why the cars are there. I don't know whether it's some Chinese car drifter or some 
once, basically. So I just don't know. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. So, so it's a weird story. I just I thought I'd try and clear it up a little bit more, which I probably made it even more confusing. We got some good footage. I don't know how long the video will stay up for. You know, it might get, get taken down straight away. The chap that put, called the police, he said that people have been targeting him. No one's been targeting him. He, look, trust me, Trevor. If you're popping the curtains and calling the old bill, you're going to be targeted. You're pulling a big fucking red arrow on your forehead. You know what I mean? Just stop being a nosy neighbor and allow things to happen, okay? If there's a fire in the garden or they're climbing into your garden, then yeah, I understand that. But don't be a nosy neighbor. No one likes to have a go hero because you're going to get yourself, you know, victimized anyway by doing shit like that. That's what happens when you stick your nose in. But anyway, the police came hard. I got detained. And yeah, that's basically what the story is. Um, let's get on with the video. Proper rant over. The, at the end of the video when it said uh, criminal merch available, that was just a joke. But if you want me to get a t-shirt with criminal across the front of it, you know, just drum up a bit of money, I'll get them done. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get on to the, the video and get to this location. Well, so we're at location and we're being seen by everybody who's driving past. Here we are. First thing we find is an old Cortina. So apparently the story is on this place is everything's being scrapped and moved out. So I had to get here quickly to see this place for myself. Oh, I just fell over. I just fell over and broke my bloody leg. I jumped over the fence, slipped on some corrugated, smudgy, gooey steel and hit myself. Right, I need to uh, sort myself out. Give me a sec. Well, then we'll crack on before anybody comes. So the majority of these vehicles are dead. So uh, let's have a look. Didn't know they did doors like that. <laughs> so old, uh, old Johnny's been here. He's been to this location. This is a dead Ford graveyard, this is. I mean, because it is, it is what it is. It's a dead Ford graveyard. We'll have a, we'll have a walk around first to scope out the area and then we'll have a more detailed explorer. My goodness. What's lost can always be found. It's truth. It's truth in that. So we haven't come for the house, we've come for the cars. But I thought I'd have a quick look around the house first. So, 
first thing we come across is this rover that's a sad looking car isn't it i don't know the story on this place i'm assuming it's uh some old boys collection i'm in the seating position in this uh rover like i said i've never been in one of these cars i've never actually driven one it looks so comfortable definitely a type of a car that i want to try out so if you've got one of these a rover vitesse and then next to this we have a i think it's a talbot i'm not entirely sure A good old Talbot, oh god, Talbot Avenger. I mean, look at the parts everywhere. You got four wheel trims, which are these are these are worth a pretty penny. Get a set of them, they're worth some money. Got another four wheel trim there, look, that's two we found. What a poor car. What a damn shame. Close that door. Can't be many of these left on the road. Oh, come on. Not again. Oh, they're carrying on going. Thank God for that. Was that an old Jag? No way. Oh, look at that Jag, ladies and gents. What happened to her? Wow, that's unreal, that is. This place just gets better and better. Now quite a lot of you have probably seen this video, but I'm in this location, I haven't. So this is why I'm here, another Jag there. I mean, I don't even know what half these cars are. My back's stuck. Oh, Jesus. I'll go for trees. Look at the front end of this. She's still got her engine in like, should we do a weird start on here? That's unreal. I was sneaking down here then, I was hiding down here. Oh god. Not a lot, just car parts. More car parts. What's that off? I was going to say mini. This is definitely, definitely off an old rover. Old rover again. That's definitely off a mini. Got a wing off something there. That's definitely off a mini. That's off a mini. I mean, this Jag's been here a long time, hasn't it? I mean, look at that. That looks like a nightmare in there. All the badges have been taken off. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. This is the type of graveyards that I, I enjoy finding because of how the, the, the foliage has grown all over it all. Call these engines. Classic vehicle, uh, classic doors are various different models. That's a transit door, I believe. A2000, I'm not entirely sure. Have you even found some money? Found some treasure? Is that an old Tempe? But look at the indentation it left on the tyre. That's been there a long time, so that can stay right there. Yeah, the wind has been put through on this. But that just looks like a nightmare car inside there. All around the back, through the sunroof. Well, it's not even a sunroof, the, the roof's just caved in. It engulfed the whole of the vehicle. Let's keep looking then. Let's keep looking. We haven't got much time here really. Like I said, I've got to get back for the school run, so there are more cars over here. It's hard to tell what they actually all are. Oh my goodness. This place just gets better and better. Very old graveyard. These things died long, 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 long before. Probably before I was born. 
if you think about it because what are the, all these cars 60s 70s so yeah these probably rotted before i was even born i'm almost certain of that i'll bet money on that this had 86,000 miles this thing did and she's nothing more than oh Oh, I recognise that um, that target, that tire light. What's that off? I recognise that. Made in China. Uh. Is that off a Datsun? Is that a Datsun tire light? Is this a Datsun? Maybe? Hmm, I'm not sure. Nits Nissan, Nissan something. I, I do apologize, ladies and gents. A lot of you comment saying that I need to learn more vehicles. <laughs> so I understand that a lot of you watch my content for the cars that I find. I also understand that you watch my content for good old me. Like I said to various people that said this to me and messaged on the Instagram and YouTube, I've never once said that I know every vehicle. I like to go to these locations for my own, you know, viewing pleasure. Also for you that's watching, you know, I do this for you that's watching. So I do apologize. I don't know every single vehicle. I do try to learn for me to remember every single car. It's quite hard. So I am trying, you know, I, I will do my best best to learn as many, as many cars as possible but there is a lot out there like I say if I get the cars wrong I apologize but I don't try to hide it I don't try and cut it out of the video I don't sit here quickly on my phone googling things basically you you see it as I'm recording it so I'd like I say I do apologize if I get cars wrong because I will I'll, it's inevitable I'm, I'm not an expert yeah <laughs> Japan just found this old total gold oil uh, can that's pretty cool that you agree She's a, she's a bit um, holy, but that's really cool to see. That'd be nice on a shelf somewhere, wouldn't it? In your man cave. That's pretty cool. Now this is what I wanted to mention. It's like, um, for argument's sake, this bit of rubbish here. If I put, if I was to put this in my bag and uh, dispose of it, or just put it in my bag, what's the difference between putting that in my bag, this in my bag, or a car badge in my bag? What is the difference? Now, this is the argument a lot of people have. You know, people, people always say, well, no one's going to use it. No one's going to want it. So, you know, why can't I take it, save it, you know, be the cus custodian of it, so to speak. Although I'd love to take this home, I can't because it doesn't belong to me. But this doesn't belong to me. There's, there's no difference between this, this or a piece of one of these cars. Do you know what I mean? There's no difference really. You know, that, that, this tower light, I bet this here, sorry, this indicator lens, I bet that's quite rare and sought after. And probably worth what? To the right person or cleaned up and well presented. 30 quid, 20, 30 quid, probably a bit more, probably a bit less. This is my point I'm trying to make. There's no difference from taking this piece of rubbish here. This, this really cool tower lens, it all belongs to this area which you can clearly nobody gives a crap about the viewers watching now you know that's not going to last very much longer and no one's going to care about that no one's going to no one's going to think oh let's save that. that that's just dead basically so you know i'd love to save this with the gold up there too look you know this is a really cool piece to to have in your man cave or whatever as just a little collector's thing it's not worth anything you know it's got no significant value but it's just cool but yeah you know we can't take things not what we do so this is the argument right then uh let's keep looking we've got two old classic taxes here look most of this is just it's just dead junk isn't it it's all dead old taxi express oh we need a bit then it's old girl She's certainly not uh, taking any passengers anywhere anymore. She's dead. Yeah, a lot of these cars died here a long, 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 long time ago. Most of these vehicles have been stripped of their parts anyway. All the, all the usable parts have gone anywhere on this, on this graveyard. I understand that these vehicles weren't worth an awful lot when they were, uh, I don't know, parked here. There were hundreds of thousands of these on the road. So, you know, one being scrapped or pushed into a corner of a field or a yard didn't really matter because at the end of the day, they weren't really cared for back then. They were just used and abused like every other modern car of today. And uh, they started becoming desirable and valuable. It's quite sad when you find these uh, 
gems because it's like you want to save them you want to save everything but you know you're not going to save this i mean like this that's savable that's still salvageable it's a bit battered but i mean there's not a lot left i'm surprised they haven't taken um I'm surprised they haven't taken the gear knob oh she still goes in gears ladies and gents She's still got a bit of dignity. I'm surprised that hasn't gone, really. Seatbelt, handbrake. I mean, these are metal, these are. So, they could still be used. You got the ignition. The uh, steering column was cut off, hacksaw blade. That was clean, cut off, that was. Straight through. There's something magical about cars car graveyards now this is the this is the, the the crazy thing this is the crazy reality of car graveyards i much prefer to find these types of car graveyards where that you know they can't be saved so you can just enjoy and you know you can actually cry a little obviously that goes without saying but you can enjoy the the the, the feeling you get being here because you know that you can't save them they're way too far gone so you can kind of leave feeling okay. You were a little bit too late for these cars and it, you know, you, you don't feel like you have a responsibility, you have a duty to save these cars. It's like the location that you watched yesterday, that um, Mark 1 Ford Escort uh, estate. Now that, that there is a perfectly fantastic example that that needs to be saved so walking away from that car is is absolute heart-wrenching because you know that it's in perfect perfect order same as the cortina in the in the shed those locations are really hard to walk away from so the next one is this one here i didn't even notice this one so we've got a four door there and this this two door here i'm sure this would be it would have been a popular two door ford escort popular i mean even these wheels here even these wheels look cool you wouldn't even have alloys on here you'd have you just keep the steelies because the steelies just resemble they're iconic they're iconic in their own right and then we've got this one here this one still has its gauges in his clocks in but like every other vehicle here this one is dead there's that other uh, nissan rear tail light escort graveyard this is what this is being called i mean you've got loads of trim up here look at all this trim got quite a bit of trim there's the this top skin of the boot lid wow look at the state of this What a mess. I honestly can't believe we found a Ford. I believe it to be a Mark 1 Escort Estate. Yeah, definitely. Oh, how late for these cars were we, ladies and gents. <laughs> I'm surprised that that's not gone to this here. Because they're quite, they're quite easy to unscrew, they are. They're not that hard to unscrew. I'm surprised that they haven't taken those. So that's three, yeah, three cars with three gear knob still in situ. That's the uh, steering column manners. That's been hacksawed off. So the red one that we found yesterday, well, in yesterday's video, here's a white one in similar condition. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my mind, really, I am. I've, I've literally lost my mind. Oh, there's that Alfa Rover. So this, you can still see the reg of this one. The reg is JAC537N. Yeah, so there's the registration of that Escort. I mean, there's still some salvageable parts here. Not a lot, though. It's, it, 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 it's so hard. It's absolutely hard. Hard being here. It really is. You got like, you got um, Mark 1 there. You got Mark 2 there. Mark 2, two door here. And then you got a Mark 1 uh, estate here. Anyway, let's keep going because you just can't sit around really. You just you just end up just dreaming and just like thinking what if and this and that. And oh, God, I could save that or I could save that bit there. You can't save anything. Everything's dead. It's all, it's all gone. Well, this van isn't fed well, has it? Or pick up it's just all falling apart so this the past couple of weeks has all been about it's all it's been all about fords i found quite a lot of fords try and squeeze through here there's a lot of jagged uh, jagged pieces everywhere it's going to impale me oh look at this side mm. 
and then we're back to the Jags. That looks pretty cool. Is that the Ascona? I thought it was a caddy for a second. All the head headlights and things here. What's she done, mileage wise? 40,000. What a sight, what an absolute sight. So yeah, this is kind of a mix really. You got Jag, you got Escort, well Ford. This, this Jag though. Oh, this Jag, this is just, this is, this is a picture this is. I mean, seriously, what a, that's, a, that's a grave that is. That's no longer a car, that, that is a grave. <laughs> so I think that's it really. There are a few other things scattered about here and there. Like these old Bedford vans here. Yeah, this is a, another dead van, a Deadford. Proper Deadford van. Got a couple of more cars up here. That's a shame, isn't it? I got another car in the in the bushes there. I can't even get to it. Wow, fight through the bushes, people. Fight through the bushes. Let's have a go. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, everything's been nicked from her. Poor girl. What a shame. What a damn shame. That's definitely a popular. Oh. oh my god. Ford Escort Estate, two door. So now we have a uh, Land Rover Defender. More Fords. Toilets. Have you seen the wheels on this Escort? These wheels, <laughs> they got the uh, little chrome trim around them. Look at the, uh, the sign writing on the, 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 the decals, Escort. This is a cool little car back in this day. Now look at it, abandoned, neglected, unloved, uncared for, and has now almost most certainly uh, sealed its fight with a crusher because this is most certainly gonna get crushed. What a damn shame, right then. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here now. We basically recorded all the best things. And uh, yeah, time to go. Got to travel another two hours to get home now. So I hope you like what you've seen so far. There are, all these vans and things are here. Let's have a squeeze up here. Yeah, these are all just uh is that a ford escort van there it's not is it is that another ford escort van there i can't really tell is it i think it is I'm trying to squeeze through everything now so yeah it's a. Uh, is that an opal i mean some of these cars you just you, it's heartbreaking to see it really it genuinely is heartbreaking to see but like i say you can't really do much about it Thank you for these people that leave these cars, but at the same time, it's heartbreaking. So I'll draw this video to a close, because I've got to get home. And I really do hope you enjoyed this one, because this was definitely a, a heartbreaking one. So from me, Stokesy, thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching. I wonder what the crap was going on then. So yeah, from me, Stokesy, uh, nothing but love and respect. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, remember, don't limit yourself, and keep car hunting. Gotta get out of here now. Thank <laughs> you.